Welcome hobby enthusiasts! I am Benne here at Minimal Tabletop and today I paint this Venom quickly and easily without using an airbrush. First I prime the Venom black. A few parts such as the windshield, the splinter cannon and the gunner I prime separately later. Then I prime the venom with chaotic red from above in the direction where light might hit it. And I do the same from below, since the floating venom is also visible from below. I spray the windshield with runal rust. Damn it! I spray it with runal rust. And then as an accent with Retributor Armor for a great metallic color effect. I primed the gunner with Mephiston Red and the Splinter Cannon with Runeout Red. Then the magical technique and hold dry brushing with Mephiston Red. I spread most of the paint on a dry paper towel until there's hardly any left in the brush and apply the paint with circular and wiping movement. I like the somewhat random color gradients that arrive and build them up in several thin layers. Above all, I dry brush the openings and particularly sharp edges more selectively with Ride Rider Red to emphasize them even more. I paint all the metal elements that I would like to have in a different shade than Lead Belcher with Brunel Red. I also use this to pick out the frame of the windshield before I glue it in place with a little super glue. Next up are the other metal elements with lead badger, which also get one to two opaque layers. In the next step I highlight a few details with Retributor Armor for a little more variance in the metal shape. I painted the two witches next and if you would like to see a tutorial for the witches feel free to request it in the comments. Now I shaled all the metal elements and a little bit of the underside of the venom with Agrax Earthshade. Where I have applied too much color, I dilute the color a bit with a little water in the brush for a smoother finish. I shade the flag that I painted with Rakka Flash with Reckland Flash Shade. 
I'm currently thinking of symbols for my Drakari, and the flag will definitely get one of them later. I also dilute the color again with a little water as before. I change the fly base with Martian Iron Crust, which I apply with a hobby spatula. After it has dried, I completely shade it with Gucci Violet. And after that has too dried, I apply a few tufts of psychedelic alien tufts. Now mount the Venom on the fly base, and the Nimble Hunter is ready to sweep across the battlefield at lightning speed and rake his victims with splinter fire. Finding particularly simple but effective methods of painting minis is one of the things I enjoy most about painting miniatures. Dry brushing can be a fantastic technique and produce amazing results. For the Venom chassis without the witches it took me about 45 minutes in total, and I'm sure it's a lot faster with batch painting. And great plastic can be turned into a great painted Drukhari real space work in no time at all. The Venom was one of the models for which the community asked for a video for me, and I'm glad to have finally been able to deliver, and hope to be able to realize even more such video requests in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please like or even subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. So, see you next time, and remember, keep fighting great plastic.